breaking news. So, if you're seeing this after Easter, it's because it's after Easter. Wow. <laughs> you know how I know that? Because of how it is. Anyways, some people want it to be Easter all year round because of cream eggs. So we're thinking of making a few flavors of cream eggs after Easter because people want them. Like we were thinking, Max and I were talking about, you be quiet. Listen, I've talked to, I've told you before, just be quiet. I'm on, I'm, well, I'm not on the phone, but geez. You're on the video. I'm on the video. Hush you. So, Max and I were talking about, what if we made blue raspberry cream eggs? Wow. What if we made mango cream eggs? Say wow. Wow. Thank you. And then. We did Owen Wilson in here. We do. Wow. wow. Um, and then also, we sold out of peanut butter cream eggs so fast, we only made like a thousand. So that was our bad. Mm. So we're thinking of making those again. Because, I mean, what is a cream egg? It's basically a handheld cream, a nice big handheld yeah. cream. So it's oval and a little domed. Big deal. It's just big. It's like if you like cream and you want a lot of it, yes. it's for you. So my question to you folks is, are you interested in that? Do you want us to make mango cream eggs and blue raspberry cream eggs and peanut butter cream eggs? Would you eat those even though it's past Easter? Does that interest you? Let us know in the comments below. Easter. You gotta go to 310. 310. Weren't you gonna like 308.5 for a bit? Well. Because it, it, it does go up. Yeah. But 309 and it'll go up to 310. Oh. Just sitting on the stove. Oh, yep, 310 points on well, it was before yep. the error thing popped up. Yep. We're going to get the thermometer checked out. Yeah. Yep. It gets real hot for a hot plate, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's 200 degrees. The kettle's about about 200. Mm. So. Is that just to make sure that it doesn't solidify real quick when you pour it in? Yeah. yeah it it still cools down. It still cools. A little bit. Yeah. Here, let's pour it on uh, this side since it's already got it. Okay. Why do you guys pour it on this side? <coughs> well, it just uh, already had been poured on this one side already. Oh, okay. So okay, just less cleaning up. Yeah, yeah just you know, less sticky stuff. You guys are all about efficiency. Huh? Less sticky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just a uh, lemonade one? Lemonade. How many shots did you do this? Two and three quarters. One and three quarters. Because the strawberries pretty smell it. Mm, yeah. Oh, yep. Now I put yeah. my face over it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty smart, so. Yeah. Mm, I can smell mm -hmm. that. It smells nice. Yeah. As soon as we get a uh, smell of vision. Yeah. I don't know if views will really go through the Oh, roof. yeah. <laughs> I swear, like, the combination of smells just kind of smells like um, Captain Crunch. Yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> That's what it just reminds me of. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Captain Crunch. <laughs> I used to eat that when I was a little kid. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had it back then. What? No, I didn't. I mean. I just didn't know they invented cereal back then. Wow! We didn't have cereal back then. <laughs> we had to eat rocks, and we were grateful. Webby? Webby. Watch your head. Watch your head. Oh. Have you scraped the job? Sure. I've been scraping by my whole life. Just uh, we're both we're both radies, so it's hard for me to do it lefty. Hmm. 
Hercules, Hercules. <sighs> it does get cold on there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you work out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You guys could uh, charge people to start doing this and just say it's a workout. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like a gym membership. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is Hercules candy. Mm -hmm. You taking it or am I? I think you okay. can convince some people. We could do it. I know some of our viewers are even <laughs> saying, I'd pay to work there. <laughs> there you go. And you won't feel guilty about eating all the candy after you work out like this. Uh, oh, oh, I missed him. Oh, no. Really? Here we go again. <laughs> you sound distraught, Dad. <laughs> All right. Very, very nice. You, uh, you want to get this one out or? Oh, <laughs> this is a two-part. Okay, we're gonna switch it. You'll switch a room. All right. Very quiet pours. So you are quiet. This one's a little easier, huh? A little bit. Yeah, that, that kettle just can't... It's, a, it's 200 degrees, but it's just not hot enough. Yeah. Plus, it, just, it cools off real quick. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's okay. It works out. Is that just the hottest that plate <coughs> will get? Huh? Is that the hottest that plate will get? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, it takes it up to the water and there's boiling. Yeah. But, uh, it's not sitting direct, it's not direct heat, so yeah. it just doesn't get as warm. That's all. said she wants the colors to pop. So why did you guys make it more narrow this time? So it wouldn't uh, cool off so fast. Because mm. you know if there's less surface area, it'll have more thermal mass. I guess we're scientists. Steve's the scientist. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's how you come up with such good ideas. It was Joe's idea. Yeah. Because Steve told me. Well, no one wants to take credit, huh? It was Max. Oh, all right. I believe that. I miss you putting the corn syrup in, huh? Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm so good at it. <laughs> Only special people can do it, you know. Yeah. Without getting a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell me if I'm doing this right, okay? Mm, that's good enough. All right. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it tastes good too. Yeah. I guess you guys are gonna have to taste this. Even huh? better. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got your lifting belt? Yeah. Oh, boy. Are we advertising? <laughs> <laughs> strong, strong. Hey, that's Supply a fellow belt. YouTuber. Yeah, uh, Meg Squats. Uh, Meg Squats, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Go Meg yeah. Squats. <laughs> I'm looking at your, like, your only games shirt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got it. Well, I'm wearing a shirt right now from Damazetti, so. <laughs> YouTubers supporting YouTubers. Well, that's good. Hmm. Actually, I just bought uh, a shirt from uh, PewDiePie yesterday, too. So. Did you? Yeah, I thought it was, well, I don't know exactly, I don't get the reference of No Legs Gang, but since I used to be paralyzed and my calves, are, my calves are basically non-existent, yeah. then when I can squat, I can wear the No Legs Gang shirt. Perfect. And it <laughs> can I show off my shirt? What's your shirt? Oh, you've seen this shirt before. Terry said it one time, and I was like, that would go good on a t-shirt. <laughs> Just the right amount. <laughs> <laughs> not, Fitting. Not too much, not too little. Just the amount, right amount. Okay, this is probably pretty good. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get it. There you go. How old were you when you learned how to do this, then? Uh, teenager. Yeah. A couple years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go down on a Saturday, help my father and my uncles. Mm -hmm. They did it on Saturdays because they all had jobs during the week, so. Mm -hmm. And they only did it. Like maybe twice a year, because one yeah. for hard candy, one, well, maybe three times. One for hard candy, one for candy canes, one for ribbon candy. Yeah, that's about it. Maybe one more day, but. Mm -hmm. back, back in the day, you yeah. guys barely made hard candy. It was yeah. just seasonal. Yeah. I think you lose the technique. You only did it a uh, couple times a year. Yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of like riding a bike. You know, mm -hmm. you just do the same thing. So once you learn. You got it. Funny you should mention that. I just got my bike out for the first time yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I fell off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know. You'd make another bike joke, but you're too tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be nice. You know. mm. This is good. Yeah, this is good. You can do it. A little harder. There we go. Darn it. Ah, it won't come off. Nope. There we go. Good thing it's detachable, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Don't worry, it's just going to come out of his paycheck anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Oh, oh, there goes oh, that my, one's for you. There goes my shoe. Oh, that, that piece is for you, okay? <laughs> oh, I'll just put it in this. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. I'd, I'd eat it, but I, I feel like the top of my shoe is kind of dirty. <laughs> Take my gloves? Maybe. Oh. This has got color on them. All oh, my day's ruined now. Sorry. So, are you going to be pulling, Joe? Uh, yeah. We're taking turns. Oh, you want your mat? Go ahead. Hmm. 
That's right, tough guy. So have you pulled candy punch? Uh, yeah. This is first time. First, yeah, <laughs> first time. So, no problem. Look at him go. Uh, is that is this like something that, uh, like, Dad, do you, do you want Joe to learn how to do it so then you can go do other things while Joe and Max do it one day? Yeah. That's the idea? Yep. That's the idea. These days, you're gonna retire. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if the boss will let you. <laughs> yeah. Just maybe. I mean, hey, if they keep paying you in buckets of beer. Well, why quit, you know? Buckets of beer, yeah. <laughs> we could say no to that. Yeah. As long as it's a five gallon bucket. <laughs> In the beginning, it's always hard to get it right. Yeah. But after you get going, then you, after a few times, you got it. I mean, uh, once you first start pulling out? Yeah. 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 That's always the little... you, Where the two uh, colors meet up, yeah. they're always a little ugly in the beginning, but. Still tastes good, though. Yep. So in the beginning, is it usually like maybe one, some piece will be a little like. Super pink and like no yellow, or the other way around yeah. until it like finally gets through and it's half and half. Yeah, pretty much. Is it, oh, so this is two batches, it looks like. Yeah, so we're three of them today. You can kind of tell this one is a little bit more pale, a little bit more pastel. This one's a little bit more vibrant. I don't know if you can, I mean, the divider's like right around there. You can probably see. But, uh, yeah, they look, they look, they both look nice, though. So there are certain things that you've picked up as you've been doing this? Yep. All right. Good talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it could be a little daunting at first, but if you, the main thing is just uh, take your time mm -hmm. and just keep, uh, keep this in a triangle shape. Keep flipping it. It tends to pull out better. If you can keep it in the, this shape. When you're and first learning, you panic. You're panicking, you're just going too fast, and you're trying to, you know, it's just, that's how everybody does. I did the same thing when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still a kid. <sighs> yeah, see? So. Yeah, then eventually you get comfortable doing it, and then it works out. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys want to get a new fan? Oh, I wanted to get a smaller one, but still powerful. Because mm. the bigger fan took up too much. Too this much one's definitely throat. quieter too, which is good for videos. Yeah, this one, it was too wide. It's quieter. It's uh, not as wide. It still works really good. Tons of updates, huh? Yeah, we're mm -hmm. just moving on up. <laughs> Got a new fan. <laughs> You guys can even get a new candy thermometer that works. Wow. Oh, imagine having a thermometer that works. <laughs> we won't have to put our fingers in it anymore. <laughs> yeah, if anybody runs across cutters like this, they should contact us and let us know. Because I do look online, but yeah. I don't always have time to look online. I just look once in a while. I have found one or two, but they were sold. Yeah. I didn't even know you found any. I thought they were all. Yeah. Hmm. Same with a uh, caramel cutter I've got. Somebody took one exactly like a caramel cutter. It's in the at the house. Mm -hmm. 
and restored it. And wow, it's awesome. It so if up. we got that restored, would that be useful? Oh, restore, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Because you can make it any size you want with them. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, I was thinking that like it'd be cool if there was a YouTuber, there was a YouTuber that uh, did the restoration stuff. videos. Yeah. It'd yeah. Be really cool. Yeah. Do like a collaboration. Oh yeah. Yeah. So if anybody knows, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. Yeah. One of the just restore stuff. That'd be a cool YouTube channel. Just that we work all the time, so it's hard to. And also, we don't know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it. Yeah. If I had the right stuff, yeah. So what, what, what would you have to do? I would have to take it all apart, disassemble yeah. it, and clean it. You need like a sandblast cabinet and stuff like that. Mm hard -hmm. to clean it or restore it. Yeah, because it's all there. It's all. It just needs to be restored, that's all. Yeah, that'd be good to save time. Yeah. Stuff like that's fun to do too. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. We could save time with an invention back from like 1900. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So have you seen that thing? I have. It's, I I think. Uh, did they I move you guys? Right? Move? Yeah, I helped yeah, you guys move it. Yeah. Move it. Yeah, it's heavy. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's super heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what it's made of. Like, is that ball? It's like. Yeah. What do you think it's like? It's like cast iron, yeah. Uh, Even two people hundred. have a hard time moving it. Yeah. yeah. I think it was uh, me, Max, and you guys. <laughs> yeah, who helped Amazing. me move it from the shed to the house? That was me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, was, that was hard. Yeah. That was another... That thing that the four of us moved? Mm -hmm. That was another... It's another cutter. Another old-timey thing. I don't remember what that was. It's a hard candy cutter. You would have hooked up to a motor. <laughs> so you'd run the, the uh, candy into it and it just spun around. <laughs> that thing was heavy. That was like <clears throat> small and like 400 pounds, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was heavy. They built stuff in the old days. <laughs> So long. It's like this candy cut. This is a hundred years old, but it works great. And it's heavy. How heavy is this candy cutter? It's over, it's over 50 pounds, I know that. Oh, wow. It's heavier for its size. Yeah. It's heavier than a box of chocolates. Mm. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Five minutes later. Oh boy, I miss you taking the thermometer out. Okay, you ready? All right. There we go. Oh, wow. What the hell's that? <laughs> huh? Reenactment. Didn't miss nothing. Wow. Okay, more shots. Oh, is the watermelon one? Yeah. did open house and I would uh, often ask people what flavor of candy canes they would want. Oh yeah. Uh, and I swear the kids were always, would always say watermelon. Really? All the time. Yeah. That's all they wanted was watermelon. And I think I told mom and then I, I <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's why we started trying watermelon. I think we did make some uh, small batch of watermelon candy canes to see how they'd sell. Mm -hmm. I think we did. I don't remember at all. Hard to keep track of everything. Yeah. I don't remember what the adults would say, because I feel like the adults would come up with different answers all the time, but yeah. I swear it was like, 
I would ask the kids, and I was like, let me guess, watermelon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was interesting, though. I, I wouldn't expect all the kids to just have one answer. Yeah. But you guys don't even have to add any food coloring to this, do you? Um, well, actually, we are. We're adding a little red to make it pink mm -hmm. with the body, and then we're doing a green stripe. Today, your guys' first day of just making even the the one. I was gonna say one flavor, but like not. Nah. Well, yeah, it is one flavor because the other one was you split it up and flavor them two differently. Yeah. But uh, is this your fir guys' first time even for single flavors making it really narrow? No, I've done it before, but first time for it e at East Easter time mm -hmm. making hard candies. I think mm -hmm. it's the first time in a while since we've had hard candy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mostly been uh, chocolate. People have been asking for hard candy though, so yeah. they we just what they want. couldn't get to it. We were making all the bunnies. Mm -hmm. It's still not Easter just yet. I don't know when we're going to post this. Oh, wow. Today's actually April Fool's Day. Yeah. I mean, we never did post that video of, uh, of you trying to trick me with the oh, computer. Oh, yeah, the computer, <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, that was a while ago now. Yeah. Uh, maybe later today I can post it. Cool. I'll just have to find all the footage. So you got this, Joe? Great Mike. What do you say, Bill? All right. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, you gotta do a green straight. A little bit of green. Go. Oh, heavier green. Heavier on the yeah. green? Oh boy. Yeah. Uh oh. Alright, we got video evidence. Ted said that. Okay. It will lighten up. It will. Uh... Hey man, lighten up. Right? That, you just gotta tell it that. And then, <laughs> bam. Are you guys uh, pulling the, the pink candy or no? Yeah. The body, yeah, we're yeah. gonna pull the body. There was when you guys didn't pull it, it actually looked really cool. Like see through. It looks, I like it that way. I, I, I think do it looks too. awesome. I think it looks better like that way. <laughs> A little bit of yellow. Hmm. So you guys mix the yellow and the green? Yep. I don't know why. Hmm. Steve, why do we put a little bit of yellow in there? It, uh, well, it lightens it up just enough. Hmm. Otherwise, it's too dark. Hmm. But if you, you got, I mean, you still got to put enough color in it. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know people will probably think I'm putting less green in, but it doesn't get the right shade. Yeah, it just basically. doesn't get it right. Yeah, it doesn't get that watermelony. Watermelon green. Yeah. All right, I'll leave you over here. Right. I didn't get that from the corn serpent last time. Okay. What are you trying to get it to? 32, well, 8 pounds. Mm. We're doing 8 and 16. Mm. 24 pound batches. I'm at the bottom of this one, though. So for anyone new who's watching, you want to explain what the water is? Yeah, the water, how cold, it's got to be cold water on your hands. It makes it so that the corn syrup doesn't stick as much as mm -hmm. if you tried it without any cold water and it would stick to your hands completely. Mm -hmm. So this way only sticks a little bit. But and then do you want to explain to you people can you can handle it. also why you're either not wearing gloves or using a ladle? Because I know people always ask those questions. I don't want to use a ladle, then I got to clean it. And we tried it before, and like so and then, much yeah, of it sticks yeah. to the ladle. Yeah, it's there, ridiculous. It just, it just wastes all that corn syrup. Oh, yeah. And it's actually and easier then to do this. Like is this. Just, this is the way <laughs> my father did it, and, I, and it's just easier. Mm -hmm. It's just. Uh, and the same thing with gloves, like it just sticks to gloves more. And this is going to be all cooked up. Plus, so if anybody's worried about germs on my hands, I've been I wash my hands so much all the time. And also, Plus, it's getting cooked up to 310 degrees. Yeah, it's be so. at 310 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, I, I think a lot of people don't realize, like, when you, like, say someone's cooking at a restaurant, you're totally allowed to touch things without your hands if you're going to be putting it in, like, a soup or, like, something that's going to be cooking past yeah. the boiling point. That's yeah, totally legal. That's right. So I, I think a lot of people just don't recognize Yeah, that. they don't think that's all. Yeah. If you're not in the food business, you don't really, yeah. you don't really know. Yeah, people will just see stuff, like, you touch them with your hands, like, why aren't you wearing gloves? Yeah. <laughs> Starting is the hardest part. Huh? Yeah. I like to start it a little bit cooler. Max can come over and it can just be like dripping through his fingers and he'll throw it on there and he'll just start tossing it immediately. And I'm like, I don't know how you do that, dude. Hmm. Trying to get it all in here, shooting diagonal. <laughs> Hopefully, people are like, "What the heck, Craig? I can't see this." Now, 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 it's all wrong. <laughs> no, I got to tilt my screen diagonal. <laughs> got a crick in my neck. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Yeah, I've seen some people uh, start shooting horizontal, and they're like, "Oh, well, they're shooting something vertical. Here, let me just go like this." <laughs> and like, "Well, now I got to watch for it vertical." <laughs> Uh, well, I did just wash it and uh, put it in cold water for a while, so maybe that helped. Oh, cold water? Huh? Yeah. It cooled up. Once the hook gets a little hot, it'll, it'll stick. Just like the table, if we get the table too hot, it can stick to it? Yeah. Same thing, yeah. Change your battery signal. I'll be oh, back. Uh oh. Thinking ahead. Huh? Trying. <laughs> and the gloves shining up nice. Make it nice and shiny. Can I have that mat, please? Uh, oh, oh, my feet, my dogs are barking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that way oh, yeah. yeah. 
Like an airplane ticket. Yeah, it did. It was really loud. They have to. What are you doing? <laughs> Go for it. How's the green? Is it good? Yeah, it looks good. Great. Oh, we know. Well, just from doing it so many times, that's, that's all. You guys write it down every time, too. Yeah, we try to write it down, yeah. Let's be modest. The truth is, you're born with it. <laughs> you either have it or you don't. Yeah, that's it. That's why I just manned the camera. <laughs> okay. Didn't know you were there. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd let you know before you. Before I knocked you over, little oh, Joe. I would have bounced right off here. <laughs> I'm 165 pounds of solid muscle. <laughs> yeah, people always ask about why we hit the hammer on the hook. Sometimes, sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. Tell the viewers why we Yeah, we yeah. hammer the hook to uh, gives a vibration through the hook to loosen the candy up if it's sticking at all. Then it comes right off. Very high tech solution. Yeah, it's pretty high tech. Also, it's good stress relief. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I kind of want to just 
not do that. What is that? <laughs> huh? What is that? Uh, if people just like watching us eat dinner, like a, a family. Yeah. But oh, so I just want to have dinner. Is that what a mukbang is? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically just like people that's watching you eat. Oh, okay. But I think uh, a lot of people like it because then they eat food too, and then it's oh. like they're eating with other people. Because we're social creatures. Yeah. Yeah. But I just want to just enjoy it. Yeah. Sure. I, I have done that before, though. I always thought the mukbang part was just where people bring different food or something. But oh, I think that's a potluck. That is a potluck. Yeah. I was like, what, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, those are family parties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody brings something. if you kind of divide it up a little bit. So is this a recent change? Oh uh, yeah, I figured it out one day, like hmm. maybe I'll try to make it fatter on one end, and then it worked. Uh, really so fatter on this thing. end and down thinner here, and then on this side, fatter down here and thinner down here. Mm -hmm. So It worked. There was a whiteboard with a bunch of equations I didn't understand <laughs> either. He's pacing back and forth frantically. He's wearing a white lab coat. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? White frizzy hair. But <laughs> well, you already got that, huh? Yeah, see? Hmm. You've been cutting your own hair? Yep. <laughs> Cut my own hair. Yes. I don't want to get near people. Well, I didn't do a good enough job for you. Nope. <laughs> it does not look good so far. I mean, it'll look. No. Good. It'll look better. No, I'm not done. That's why. I have to turn around. Turn around. Yeah, so we can see it. Just like spin around. That looks like a hillbilly haircut. <laughs> what? <laughs> a couple of new Bill's hats for sale. In case you want to cover them. Cover that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get a haircut like mine. No, it's okay. No. <laughs> I'm doing better each time I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need a mirror? I might not ever do get a haircut again. He just you, goes by feel. Use that buzzer thing. Yeah. Kind of like the longest setting. Yeah, it has uh, different, uh, different. Uh, I don't know, number four, number two, number eight. You are getting better at it? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Did you do that like over the garbage or something? No, we're just over the. Over the bathroom sink. Okay, Your so mom's real happy about Flush that. Flush it all down the sink? Yeah, no. Why is this clogged? Terry, did you do this? I have to really clean the bathroom after that, though. Yeah. Because your mom will be upset. I wish it gets bad at me, too. Yeah. Can I shave? <laughs> yeah. Did you so. shave again? <laughs> I swear, I didn't see any there, sweetie. I'm sorry. Yeah, I clean it like two or three times, and yet Terry will find a hair and go, Why didn't you clean that up? It's like I, I did. It's like a dad with the, the car. <laughs> Who put this dent here? Was this scratch here? <laughs> yeah. That's right. It's because I washed the car, so I know the car has where the dents are and scratches. And if there's another one, I'll know. I don't think I've washed any of my my own cars. My I just go to the car wash. Oh, I like to do it on a nice summer day. 
I used to wash paddleware. Yeah. Now we don't have time. <laughs> well, you will after Easter. After Easter, a couple more days. Maybe, huh? Maybe. Well, you guys will be so busy looking at houses and stuff. Yeah, that's it. See how the green turns this color? That's green. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 just, uh, it's nice though, like a like watermelon. Yeah. That yellow that you add to it just does it just enough. I gotta add some black little specks somehow for the seeds. <laughs> I don't know how. Add some raisins. <laughs> I don't see how anyone would like that. <laughs> Actually, if I get a seeded watermelon, I just eat the seeds. It's too much work to have to spit them out. You know, though, you'll grow a watermelon in your stomach. What? <laughs> oh, no. How long does it take to grow? It might have one in me. There's probably a few in there. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, what are you guys going to try first? The boo, how about the boo berry? The boo boo? Boo boo berry? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say, isn't it? So is which it? blue is that one? Blue blueberry, the like more greenish kind of blue. Okay, the greenish kind of blue. So, do you want to explain that one, Dad? Oh, I'm I'm trying to turn around while I'm grabbing this, so I'm sorry if the. Who's got shaky hands now? I know. Raspberry. Steve, you have the blue raspberry. So this is. <laughs> what it looks this doesn't like. taste like blueberry at all. So, do you want to explain what happened, Dad? I grabbed the wrong flavor. You you thought it was blueberry. I thought it was blue raspberry, mm -hmm. and I it ended up being uh, blueberry. Blueberry. Blueberry, yeah. Oh, okay. I read it wrong. I'm sure people won't complain. Just one so. syllable <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. So this is the blueberry then. That's embarrassing. Yeah. I've never made a mistake before. Never. So. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm I can definitely tell the blueberry. That immediately reminded me of like some old lollipop. Hmm. That's it, good. It's yeah. got this like I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a very distinct like that's definitely blueberry. I don't know. Describe it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like it's tough. That that's why it's so hard for me to like describe flavors because I know it when I taste it, but like how do I put it tastes like a blueberry into words? You gotta pull the memory out of your head of like what is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But you nailed it. That was a happy mistake. <laughs> so, with with a certain kind of our flavors, we have to put like a lot more in too. And this is the kind that we usually have to put less in. So we wound up putting like double the amount of shots in. So this mm. is like super flavorful. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not like I overpowering just, though. We do make it on purpose. <laughs> we should probably use that. <laughs> pull it up anyway. Yeah, mm. I kind of like actually want to eat this one. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. Modern right, right, you, wait, you guys didn't already have Alright, I already put it in my mouth. Oops, I don't know what you guys are <laughs> ready for. Yeah, we'll <laughs> <stop talking> <laughs> <laughs> another one. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. this yesterday even. Like, it's like, maybe it's because of the taste buds, like where they're located, but as soon as you put it on the front of your tongue, you're like, that's watermelon. Mm -hmm. That's just like the taste of summer. That's where your watermelon taste buds are located, right on the front. Yeah, that's what I've heard. That's why I remember learning in math it's class. Scientific research. Mm -hmm. That's another really good one. Any other words, Dad? Good. Wow, you heard it here first. How long has it been since you got an Andriano's? Good. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste? Really good. <laughs> why isn't it focusing? <clears throat> 
What the? It's still not focusing. I don't... And I don't have a third hand that I can touch the screen with. Oh my god, okay, I'm just giving up. It's, I, it's, you're just gonna have to trust me so of what it looks like. Yellow, Dad, that's watermelon. <laughs> Would you eat last time? <laughs> that's watermelon. Yeah, yeah we're doing strawberry watermelon. lemonade next. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we know the strawberry wa or lemonade's good, right? yeah. Yeah, all right, well, so, strawberry lemonade. Well, they're both pink. I, I, I guess I can see why you made the mistake. Okay, now it's focusing. It's oh, good. After the fact. All right. <laughs> It's like candy. <laughs> mm. Oh, that was a good start mm -hmm. for both of you guys. Mm. I got the lemonade right away. That is nice. I think if somebody told me what it was, I don't know if I would know immediately. Like, I'd probably have to like, think about it. I've got... I got the lemonade. Like, I've got mm -hmm. lemonade on one side. Yeah. I'm flipping I can it over. flip it over, and mm. I haven't done that before. I haven't noticed that. Before. I see what you mean now. Yeah, one side's sour, yeah. more sour than the other. Mm -hmm. I definitely taste like that strawberryness too. Reminds me of like, you remember the, the ice cream man would come through and he had like the baseball mitt? The baseball in the middle and the baseball was a bubble gum? No, that's not a thing. Nobody's, everybody's like, what? <laughs> wow. That's what you guys look like, huh? <laughs> it's been a while. Did you forget what yeah. looks like? I forgot what they look like, so. Mm. All right, blue raspberry down the hatch. Here we go. There goes nothing. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh. I found my favorite. Did, did it, have you guys found that it takes like a second for it to, the flavor to kick I in, like a little longer? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that might be no. true. Yeah. yeah, from like more no, sour like, and stuff. As soon as it was in my mouth, like I tasted it like in the air, but mm. it took a while for me to taste it on my tongue. But you guys don't do that. Don't taste stuff with your nose. I feel like this one could use probably a little more flavor. Yeah. What? I think so. This is the one with like. 12 I mean, I'm. All, we also aren't cleansing our palates in between, really? so yeah. Just yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm. I'm sure that probably would help. You know, it's almost so. like I. I should know how to do this by now, but. <laughs> Who's got time for all that? It's We're good though. Over there. What do you What do you guys think? I'm a sucker for blue raspberry. Okay. Good. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I also think it's because of the palate thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's already nine shots in there. <laughs> nine ounces of flavoring. Yeah. That's, right? That's, that's, that's a lot. Good. That's yeah. a cup. That's more than a cup. You can't taste it after that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Dad? You're having a, you're having a stroke. <laughs> if you can't taste you it after toast? that, then you have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more, you said? I got one more left. <laughs> Oh, the watermelon. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, well, let us know what you think of the watermelon. Ooh. Should we take a guess? Good. Is it good? Ooh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a different one. Mm-hmm. 